Hello everybody, Lars for Gaming here, and today we're going to be looking at Surf underscore Kit soon. So before I want to start, I want to give you a couple of things. First of all, the commands I use for, if you want to do this in single player, these are the commands, no wait, not those. These are the commands you want to do if you're single player, and also you want to do um, one of these two commands. Um, that's just to make you have 60 minutes of time, and to have the um, surfing actually work, because if you don't do these commands, you will not be able to surf on single player. Um, and if this, uh, I found this map on the Steam Workshop, I'll give you a link to it. Um, Surf underscore Kitsune is what it's called. And now I just want to give you a couple of inside things about surfing. First of all, how do you surf? Well, to, in order to surf, you need to have one of these ramps. And what you want to do is, if you're on a ramp like this, slant it to the right, then you want to press A, nothing else. Because if you press W and A, you'll slide off. And if you at any time press S, you'll stop. So do not ever press S or W when you're serving. Now, a couple of things you want to know is first of all, how do I get over that gap? Well, in order to do that, let's get down here. You want to just flick and press A at the same time, and then if you're on the ramp again, press, uh, I mean D. If you're on this ramp, you want to flick and press D, and then press A again when you're on the ramp again. So that's how you want to flick, and basically the knowledge about surfing a little bit about this map, this one is called Surf of Kitsune, as I said, it has 9 stages, of which every single one has a color, this one being red, and the next one being yellow. Now, let's get into the map and show you how it's done. Okay, so the first one is red, stage 1, pretty easy, just go right there, flick a little bit here, and go right on the ramp, and flick right there. Stage 1 done. Number two, the orange one, still pretty easy, jump over there, go down and go back up and flick and press control at the last end so you actually land on the ramp itself. Okay, stage three, the yellow one, still pretty easy, go over here, go A, D, A, back up and control if needed. Okay, here's where it gets a little bit tricky, for this one you need to be real smooth, you want to go on this line, find it and go off right there onto this and flick it up and there you go done okay this one can look a bit tricky but it actually isn't the light blue one this is i'm gonna go right up there flick it a little bit just get on that ramp and flick it really high and bam okay this one is the blue stage the dark blue stage still really easy but you do learn a new technique which is going around just like that back on here and boom Okay, we have arrived at the purple, purple stage. This one is stage number 7, if I'm not mistaken. You want to flick off right there. Go up there, flick off. And when I go around the bends in mid-air, I press D, by the way, when you're on the right, uh, going to the right. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go to pink. Okay, this is pink, stage number 8. This one is actually should be way further, um, way less far in the range, because all you need to do is flick right here. Right high, right here, right high, and that's it. Okay, here we are at stage number 9, the white stage, the last stage of the map. It's still pretty easy, so what you want to do is flick off right there, go around, by stage 6, through the window, and through this window. And here you gotta go pretty high. And here we are at the gigantic cylinder of rain bonus. You want to go around it, just like that. Land on this one. Go up here. Go around onto this rainbow thing. Jump off. Don't need to flick very far because you have so much speed at this moment. Follow the rainbow. Taste it. And then press S. And you have made it. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like if you want to see more of this and want to suggest any maps for me to do a walkthrough of, then please do let me know. As I said, all the links can be found in the description and any info you might want. So this has been Lars. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.